Hi, this is Becky with Icing on Top Becky's Cakes, and today I'm going to show you how to build a cake structure using a metal rod. Last time I've shown you the PVC pipe structure. Well, this will be the metal one, and this structure will again show you just like the PVC one how to build a structure that'll hold something heavier on top. In this case, it was the cake on top with the vase on the bottom, and I had to be able to suspend that cake. And you can do all kinds of crazy things with this kind of structure. It is a lot of fun. And I'm gonna begin by showing you the tools that you will need and the materials you'll need for this. You will need a threaded rod for the center and I used a fourth inch, so therefore I need to use a fourth inch nut and then a fourth inch washer. And they're all pretty inexpensive things. And for the bottom of my base, I use these little feet that you use on the bottom of cabinets and stuff. And also this foil tape to keep everything food safe. I love the foil tape. In the middle, I'm gonna drill a hole and I drilled the hole uh, a fourth inch using the fourth inch drill and that way I know that it's going to exactly fit my fourth inch rod and put the rod through that little hole and this is the bottom put the washer on next and then the nut and the washer is always going to be against one of your boards and the nut is what is going to keep it uh, there firmly in place these are the little feet I'm gonna put these on the back side so I removed the rod so I can put these little feet in. I'm just gonna hammer them, them in and then I'm gonna flip it over once I get all these hammered in to where I think is about even. Then I'll flip it over and use my level to make sure that they're even. And then after I use the level and I see which side needs to be a little more even, I can just hammer that one just a little bit more and that'll get us all even. And the level, we just wanna make sure that little bubble is in the middle on both ways. And I noticed that on one side, the bubble is not exactly in the middle. So that's the end, that's a little wobbly. So we gotta even that out, hammer that just a little bit more, and then the bubble should sit right in the middle. All right, and there it is resting right in the middle. I press on it, make sure it's nice and firm, and it's gonna hold my cake support really well. Also on this board, I have put on contact paper. It's just clear so I can still see the cool wood grain. And um, then I go ahead and use my nut to screw in my rod to the top. And then I'm gonna wanna use a washer and a nut again to fasten this nice and tightly to the base. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. In order to add the suspended piece, I just need to put my uh, net down as far as I want it to go and then my washer and then I put a little wooden board that I'd also drilled a hole through and this little board was only uh, about a three inch circle because that's all I needed to support my um, little piece of cake that I had then you put another washer make sure that the washer is next to the board and then the nut to tighten it so it's got a it's sandwiched between a washer on either side and then a nut on either side just tighten it real tight and that will completely hold your cake. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's a fun thing to do. You can kind of come up with all kinds of cakes. On top of that, I am going to um, place my cardboard circle. It also has a hole cut into it. It is a six inch and it's going to hold in place my six inch dome cake that I'm putting on top. Now we make the whole thing food safe by just wrapping around that foil tape, which is really easy to put on. So you can see where all I put it, and then I will just continue putting it all the way up to the top, and then we will get the cake off. So you can check out my next tutorial if you wanna see how I made the sugar vase, and then um, my final tutorial will be how to put the cake on top and so that one's going to be really exciting so thanks for watching this this structure can be used to bake all kinds of awesome cakes i mean it's just limitless the things you could do with this so thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel to get the next exciting cake